Hello and welcome to the second English update from my Brickworld Lego project and welcome to the channel. Today we are doing the biggest, biggest update on the train station you can see here on the left side in the video. And I got a package, a package full of new bricks only for the train station. We have a lot of these little reddish brown windows, a lot of these tiles for the facade outside and a lot of bricks for the inside and also the outside like these little white bricks I use a lot of in the inside and these trans clear bricks used for the platforms behind the station. Today it's the biggest, biggest and a little bit escalating update on the left side of the train station and I did a speed build for it. You can see it in yeah, some seconds and I hope you like it. And if you like my project and that channel, please subscribe and add a comment below the video. And here it is, the biggest and longest speed build in the history of the Brick World project, including the German channel. And never did a update that big before on any part of the train station and the train station is a very very big project if you uh, followed my german channel before you know it but for the new uh, subscribers and new people watching that new international channel the brick world train station is about two meters wide and it's the biggest project so far in my brick world and maybe it is the biggest train station on YouTube made out of Lego bricks. Today I'm working on the left side. In the background you can see the right side where I also already did a lot of the inside but on the left side I did not do any parts of the inside until today because my main goal at the moment is to finish the outside of the train station um, and I want to be finished with it, with it uh, um, no, to the Christmas time. And maybe I can start the roof also in this year, but I don't know if I do have enough time and enough bricks and enough money for it. Because as you can see, there are thousands of thousands of bricks already in this train station. For everybody who does not follow my German channel or does not know the history of that Brickworld project, I can speak a little bit of, about it. Um, I started the project in the Corona time about two years ago in August 2020 and it started in another room. Uh, if you look at the German channel, you can see how I did that new Lego room for the future of the Brickworld. It's a new room with about 120 square meters and at the moment there's only a big table with about 15 to 16 square meters and when it is finished and all of that part of the table is ready I can add a lot of more tables to the brick world and it's it, it's going to be a big project but now for the moment the train station is my main goal including some other parts of the city but the main aspect of the brick world, as you might think about already, is I want to have a realistic uh, size of everything. My buildings are bigger than normal Lego buildings. I want to make them realistic compared to the size of the minifigures. And I think it's quite good at the moment, but it already used a lot of bricks and I will use a lot of bricks in the future too. But yeah, that's the main goal of my Brick World project. And maybe you want to see it in the future, how it is going. So please subscribe and add a comment below, like I always say it in the German channel. Comments are very important for my project because I try to read everything. I also try to uh, add an answer to everything. And a lot of the parts I already did in the city are based on comments from the community in the German channel, of course. But I hope I can build up an English community for that project too. So, as you can see here in the video, the left side is already uh, quite ready for this update. But there are 
Is the tiles are missing on the outside? I will add them at the end. You can see it in a second. And they are about uh, 401 by two tiles I'm adding now to the facade of the left side of the train station. And these are the last seconds of that quite long speed build. And I think it's quite satisfying to watch it because you can see how much work and how, ma how many bricks are going into a project in the size of that train station. And it's, yeah, it's not finished, but a big part is now finished in today's update. And that's it. That was the longest speed build I ever did. And I'm satisfied with the overall look of the train station now because a very big part is now finished. And if you look at it from the front, front side or from the left side or from the right side, it's yeah, quite finished. We are going to the back side in a minute or a second, better to say, to show you what's still missing at the outside. That's the back side, you see a part of the platforms and you also see that on the right side there's a very big gap. All three floors I still need to build and on the left side I still need to build the upper floor, but that's possible to do quite uh, fast. Maybe I can do it all in that November or at least in December, so I think my goal to finish the outside of the train station, including the little part that's missing above the portal in the front. Yeah, it's possible to do that. And I think the train station is on a very good way. But that's not all for today, because like I often do it in my update videos, I just want to add some mini figures to the city. At the moment, there are about 450 mini figures already placed in the city. You will see a little text uh, on the bottom side of the video later. That's something I'm doing in the German channel every time. Before we are coming to the end of this new update video, I have a little preview to an upcoming update video in the brick world. I got Z7998, that's that truck and it's from, I think, 2007. It's very hard to get it nowadays, but I got it for only 20 euros, because, including shipping, because it has some parts missing, about 14 or 15 parts, I'm not sure right now, but I already ordered them at Bricklink, and they are only about two euros, so I paid about 22 euros for that truck, and I think that is going to be a very good addition to the brick world in one of the upcoming updates, so stay tuned. And that's it for today. I have added two new minifigures here near the train station's platform. That um, woman here coming from the platform and another woman having a vinyl record. Maybe she has uh, bought it from our music shop on the other side of the train station and she's speaking to that guy here and that's these are some little stories I'm trying to add these little stories almost everywhere in the city so if you are standing next to the city next to the table you can see some little stories everywhere maybe I'm going to do a video where I am showing you some of these stories that are present everywhere in the city because if you're just watching the English videos and that may be the most people here at the moment. Um, I also added a lot of these stories on the German channel, but you might not be able to understand it. So I'm going to have a video in the distant future maybe to show you how these little stories are everywhere in the city. But that's it. Uh, we did a lot of work today at the train station and yeah, you see it here from the front and it's getting bigger and better, I think so. And the project is getting uh, on a very good way and I can say bye.